So we managed to come over here to here see. Go. Oh, come on. Owens is dead? Okay, this is pretty suspicious. Owens was the main chef that catered to Halcyon and Helen. The one that actually made her food. And he's dead. And that's how it's done, Captain. Why? How? Like, he is dead. Huh. That is so sad. I mean, I'm definitely going to go and confront Spencer because at this point, the guy that had all the answers is dead. Spencer is definitely the la one of the few people who last seen him. I wonder what he'll say if I tell him that Owens is dead. Bring me, well, I like to visit the VIP guest floor, please. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking, I've already got one. All right, let me see where he's at. Okay, I thought he was going to talk to me about something. Ah, there he is. The man of the hour. Please. Can't you see my heart is bursting at the seams? No. I absolutely must go out. A quote from the Sisty Cutlet. I voiced a Sisty Pig aware that it was going to be slaughtered. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Might? Well, I learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. So, I have security footage of you tampering with Helen's last meal. Tampering? No, yeah. no, no. I just happened to be passing through the kitchen and saw a dish that looked good. If being hungry is a crime, you better indict three-fourths of Halcyon. So, quick question. What was it you wanted with a Tyrael Way bile gland? What? A damn bellhop promised discretion. Well, if you must know, it's um, an appetite suppressant. How do you think I keep my form so lithe? Terror glands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. Uh, I've never heard of that. You sure you're talking about terror rays? Their bits tend to give folks the runs. Oh, that's it. I'm firing my nutritionist this instant. So, if the periway gland was an appetite suppressant, you wouldn't be hungry if you took it. Oh, uh, well, there's... Maybe I just wanted to see what was in it. Oh, law, what a pathetic defense. As it so happens, I may not have had the terror egg gland acquired for personal use. Uh, I may have placed it in Bellamy's meal. But what? You indict me, please. Just listen. I what? Trying to kill her. Huh. Wow, that's cute. I, I, so talk. talk. I will. I will. Talk. I want to hear your bullshit. Terror reason. glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy, as if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum vodka. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die. And even then, it would be an extended, arduous process. Why poison her at all? I was just getting to that. Okay, so hurry up, Spencer. I only wanted her to be incapacitated during the brown unveiling. With her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. 
Please think twice about telling the administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, what's left of my career will be left in shambles. What would you want me to say instead? Tell him, uh, tell him it was a, a poisonous mushroom or a bite from some poisonous insect, an accident. I promise I shall make up for my actions. Pay to erect a statue in Helen's honor, or perhaps even dedicate a performance to her memory. I'll keep you in suspense. It's more fun that way. My law, if you aren't a sadist. Mm. If I have a coronary before you make your decision, I will do my utmost to haunt you. Yeah, I don't care, buddy. Either way, I know who, I know who killed her finally, and it's so sympathetic. Take me to my room what right now. What would you like to visit? Uh, I would like to uh, bring me to the penthouse suite. Wow, this is so crazy, like, I don't know. The fact that he was trying to poison her enough where she's not able to go to the ceremony when he high key ended up killing her instead. Inspector, I've just received word that Constable Keene is dead. Please tell me it isn't true. She was murdered in her office. Halcyon Helen, Leora Blossom, Maria Keene, there's a murderer on the loose, Inspector. I know. You must stop them. I don't have Maria to count on anymore, so I'm counting on you. Was she important to you? Maria devoted her entire life to our vision. She was absolutely committed to our company, to our project. I promised myself I'd reward her after we launched Spectrum Brown. I'd make sure she was comfortable for the rest of her life. She was... Also, our voice of reason. She was sensible, and I appreciated her advice. I never got to tell her that. Let's change the topic. Well, actually, yeah, let's change the topic. What can I do for you? I've completed my investigation to Helen's poisoning. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. Spencer Woolrich confessed to the crime. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolrich a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. Oh, and let me give you some advice. Look into Cedric Kincannon. He's hiding something. I'm sure of it. I'll be back. Hmm. Okay, so now that the mediocre actor is behind chains now, question is, who shall I see next? So, I just remembered. The mascot was in my room digging through my stuff earlier. I may have found the person who poisoned her, but... He's right, I still haven't found the killer. So, let's go and see the mascot and see what he has to say. What floor would you like to visit? The lobby, please. To the lobby we go! Okay, so let's go see this mascot here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me right now? At this point, it is just a laughing joke. I was going to meet him. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. High concentration of ethanol. Someone's brewing moonshine with antiseptics. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport.
This is horrible, bro. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. Huh, well, punch her wounds near his collarbone. I'm having trouble finding an exit wound. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Firearms, not a conventional weapon either. Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are 1. Incident involving a game of darts. 2. The Needler. The Needler? Yes, Inspector. The Needler. The spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen. What? They deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. Amplifier, before we go, do you think he'll miss his outfit? This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. I'll take his things. It's potential evidence, yeah? You glance over your shoulder to see if anyone's watching, then reach down and remove the mascot's gear. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> yes, I got the gear. Take that. Why not? Ooh, what's in here? Hold on, let me see. Nice. I mean, no one's gonna miss this, so is it really stealing? Is it technically stealing? And also, let me check through... Black Hole Birdie. Hmm. You know what? Based off of the... The description of the... Quest here. I'm gonna go and meet Birdie. Because I know for a fact before the mascot left... He was supposed to talk to him, and now he's dead, so it's, like, really suspicious at the moment, you know what I mean? I say we go over there, demand to see what's going on, and see how he responds. Okay, so we're back here again, and Black Hole Birdie should be around the corner. I really hope he's not... Underground. What happened? Or slug i guess i can't shake the feeling they had something to do with miss helen's death you know what that's a really interesting observation honestly but then again that's a lot of containers is this just a distribution center or do you think they're planning something at this point i'm not i'm just gonna expect the worst Ah, so this is the man. Black Hole Bernie. Hey, I need to speak with you. What do you want? You're Black Hole Bernie, right? Shh, not so loud. How'd you know it was me? I'm an expector and a damn good one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. Incognito? Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of neato. Oh, what's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. Maybe I can help. I was hired to solve Helen's murder. Oh, so you're the inspector. Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? What were you doing the night Helen died? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. What? You know, soaked. Muddled. 
preserved? Lootered, half shot, void lush, on the Byzantine swizzle. Starry. One bit down, three bits up, spread across the spectrum. Top heavy. Should I go on? I get it, he's been drinking, thanks, Nyoka. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. Where'd you go? We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve, I think. Somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. What'd you steal, What'd you steal a cow for? I don't know. We were drunk, and we made bad choices. She was all alone. I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Could anyone from the pilot house back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. Hmm. You're telling me Helen dumped you, then asked you for a favor. Ah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. All right, so the data pad, did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble thing is it was real dark out there so dark she couldn't tell who i was hmm uh you sure this guard well what'd you do long story short i got out of there ran like the rangers were down by three and i just bronzed the toss ball in the friday zone Did anyone else see you that night? Think hard. Anyone. Anywhere else. Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. Hmm. Having a witness only benefits you. Unless you have something to hide. I don't. All we did was talk, I swear. It's just, I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Hmm. What do you think, Ferrari? Up for a little good inspector, bad inspector? <laughs> ah, good one, Captain. Oh, you're serious. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Are you sure? Okay, well, fine, I'll be bad inspector. Tell us the name or else, Birdie. Wait, wait, does this mean I'm the good inspector? Or are you still the good inspector? I mean, I always thought you were doing a pretty good job. Wait, wait, okay. Okay, I think I got it. Here goes. <clears throat> You'd better spill the goods, Mr. Bertie Holcomb. Sir, because I can't control my captain when she's being a terrible inspector. I'm confused. Which is how I always feel watching detective serials, so... I think you're doing this right. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. Hmm. Your bookie, murderous confidant, secret paramour with whom you're having a torrid affair? Confidant is like confidence. What's torrid mean? Who's Auric, Birdie? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Oric's not a bad guy. He's just got an unusual job. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and a 
Hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Hmm. Any advice for next time, Yoka? Sure. Get yourself a bit of taro blood, whisk it in a bowl with an egg and crushed caffeinoid, hold your nose and drink it straight. And the next time you drink, avoid the darker stuff. I'll, uh, have to think about that one, ma'am. Anyway, uh, you ought to take Helen's data pad. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding her notes. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said, being bright was Helen's thing. There's still a gap in your timeline, Birdie. I'm not sure a blackout will cut it. I know, I know that. But you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I want to help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. Hmm. Sorry, Birdie, it's... Well, should I have him come or not? Hmm. Start threatening witnesses and I'll throw you in jail myself. I'm not threatening nobody. Gee, you try to help someone out. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? I have a few more questions. What do you want to know? Why do you have the mascot pull that little stunt over the recording in Helen's room? I remember sending her the recording, but... Law, I was halfway to preserved by then. I don't know what was on it. When I realized what I'd done, I panicked. If I'd said something dumb, folks might think I was involved in her death. I was scared of looking suspicious. So you had a man break into Helen's old room to cover it up. I wish that were the dumbest thing I ever did, but it's not. About Helen. What about her? Did she have any enemies? Rival actresses, maybe? I don't know too much about the motion picture industry. Except for Helen's pictures, obviously. Those I probably know by heart. Seen them about a hundred times each. What was your relationship with her like? Look, you and me, we both know I'm a big, dumb tossball star, right? That's what I'm good at. Rizzo's knows it. The fans know it. Helen, she saw me as more than that. She saw someone who had more to offer than big muscles and a signature black hole stomp. Being with Helen was magic. She was magic. There ain't good enough words for something as special as what we had together. Why did you break up? I wish I knew. Must have been something I did. At the picnic, Helen just kept saying she didn't want to drag me into her world. Maybe one of the higher-ups in motion pictures was giving her trouble over us? I don't know. I tried to understand, but I don't. Ashley, let me ask you something else. What do you want to know? About Auric West. Yeah? What's his deal? Oryx's a businessman. He sells stuff you can't get elsewhere. You know, alternative stuff. We're talking sort of science, crockery, whole supplements. I see. And why would someone buy whole supplements? Maybe putting effort accelerators in your body isn't always the right call, you know? Maybe there are other options. Maybe I don't take all the accelerators Rizzo's pushes on me. I get it. You want to keep your fringe medical options on the down low. People get worked up about this kind of thing is all. Not that my personal business should be any concern of theirs. Yeah? Where can I find him? Oric hangs around the spaceport most days. Since he's not here at the bar, he's most likely over by the buy bunks at the shipping yard. Hmm, okay, well, that's enough for now. Buy a bunk, huh? 
I think I'll stick to my cabin. Thanks. Yeah, same here. Anyways, what a coincidence. Hey, pal. Over here. Auric is right here. Hey there. You're looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick? Better than beer? Bold claim, I know. But I wouldn't lie to you, friend. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the anti Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture, not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Huh, wow, that sounds medically inaccurate. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. Hmm. Well, speaking of getting what I need, I'd like to ask you some questions about Birdie Holcomb. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I'm a freelance inspector brought in to investigate the death of Halcyon Helen. I'll be honest, I don't really know where that puts us. I'm not here to bring you any trouble, I just want to talk. All right, all right, fine. Yeah, I know Birdie. So what? Was Birdie with you the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Yeah. Damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. How do you know, Birdie? He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. Black hole Birdie has a substance problem? Nah. What Birdie's got is a stress problem. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. Then you throw in playing toss ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Hmm. What do you mean toss ball does things to the head? Come on. Birdie's a damn good hacker. But taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. Heard you taught Birdie some breathing techniques. Yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.